Terps Raising Pups. It is a student guide dog program at the University of Maryland. Yes, and Marty is joining us from College Park. Hello, Marty. Hello, Megan. Good morning. Hello, Tim. Good morning. And this is such an important program. We've done numerous stories on CBS News Baltimore, WJZ, about guide dogs, service dogs. Timley, what are their names? We're here with Kiri, Vista, Farley, Epley, and Liberty. And, I, of course, I have to look at the camera and go, what, no testudo? <laughs> but their names are bizarre, not normal names, but tell them why. Um, so a lot of our dogs get sponsored to help offset their future cost. Um, yeah. Nothing in this world is free. So the sponsors get to name the dogs. So let me ask you this. Emmy, why did you get involved in this? Yeah, so um, obviously coming to um, school, I was here for an education, but I also was looking to get involved with my community, which I think is something I could say for all of my um, fellow students here as well. And this is just such an awesome way to get involved in your community and just give back to people who need it. At any time, did you think to yourself, given your studies, and, and, and everybody's got a social life, that you bit off more than you could chew? It's definitely hard to balance it all, but at the end of the day, it just becomes natural to have a dog with you. And it's such a rewarding experience that it's just such a highlight of my college experience. Were you able did you, did, I didn't mean to walk away. I thought you were finished. When, did you grow up with dogs? I did. I grew up, you know, with dogs, all around dogs. So when I came to campus and saw this program, it really enticed me and drew me in for that factor that, you know, you don't have a dog on campus, so you have a choice to give back to the community and also do something you love. Got it. Guide Dog Foundation. What is the website, by the way? Uh, it's guidedog.org. GuideDog.org. Let me, let me just, I'm trying to walk around. Dog. The <laughs> idea, you just want to reach down and pet them, but the idea is really not to because when you see someone wearing a, a service dog vest, it's, a lot of times it says, please do not pet. Why is that? It's to help keep the dogs in focus mode and in training. Sometimes if people come over, it can excite them, and we want them to stay nice and calm in public. So that's the whole key. Teach them to stay focused. It's to teach them and also to educate the public is a lot of what we do about not distracting a service dog because that's a medical tool for their handler. And it's very important that they're able to do their job. Got it. We'll come, we're going to come back next half hour. The sun just came out. <laughs> Temperature went up 10 degrees, didn't it? Man, did that feel good. Coming up next half hour, more from College Park, the University of Maryland. It's a great program. And thank you all so much for getting up and bringing your friends and joining all of us this morning. Back to TV Hill. Thank you, Marty.